Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Adnan Rashid here. I have just arrived in London and I was picked up from the airport by my son Musa Adnan, who is busy driving, so I don't want to distract him too much. I heard the, the very, very bad and disturbing news when I was boarding the plane in Pakistan that there has been a terrorist massacre in Christchurch, New Zealand and over 50 Muslims have been killed in cold blood, many of them children and women. Uh, not that the lives of men are not important, but this is to emphasize the point that how heartless and how cold-blooded this particular massacre and murder was. I want to talk about the causes which I have been talking about for a very long time. The cause is hate. If I was to use one particular word to describe the cause of what took place in Christchurch, that one word is hate. Hate pumped into the minds of people in the West by Western politicians as well as the media. Extremism doesn't have a religion. It doesn't have a particular ideology. Rather, if you look at all extremists and terrorists who kill innocent people, they share traits. They have very similar traits and these traits are filled with hatred, no remorse, no mercy. Like this particular gunman, uh, when I saw him shooting a woman on the floor in the head when she was asking for help, this showed me that this particular terrorist has many things uh, similar to those terrorists who commit atrocities elsewhere. So the point I'm making, brothers and sisters, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, that Islamophobia must be banned around the globe. It is no longer a matter of freedom of speech as it is uh, put forward. It is a matter of life and death. It is now an exist existential question for Muslims around the world. Islamophobia has caused real damage to global peace. Muslims are being demonized as well as dehumanized around the world. That's why you see massacres in Burma. That's why you see massacres uh, in places like Christchurch, that's why you see massacres in other places around the world where Muslim blood has become cheap because of cheap politics in the West. Some politicians who have some hidden funders who are receiving this money from different sources to spew hatred against Muslims. People like Tommy Robinson are still free. People like Sam Harris are considered intellectuals. People like Richard Dawkins, who spew hatred against Muslims on Twitter, are considered scholars. Islamophobia has been normalized. It has been given a respect. It has been considered a legitimate criticism of Muslims and Islam. That's why you see massacres like this. So we are no longer living in a civilized world, unfortunately. It is a misconception to think that we are living in a civilized world. No, we're not. Just wearing suits, speaking eloquent English, having sophisticated, uh, you know, st st stages and 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 offices and uh, you know studios doesn't make you civilized. What makes you civilized is what you are saying, what you are putting out for public to follow, and what we see on Western media in general is Islamophobia. Hate against Muslims has been accepted, unfortunately. Now, don't make any mistakes. There are thousands of people out there who actually sympathize with this attacker. We have seen that. One of the senators, uh, I think one of the... Um, um, uh, I don't think he was a senator. He was, uh, um, he was one of the, the officials in New Zealand. I forgot his name. Uh, he stated that although I don't agree with the attack but there, there, there is a cause and he's blaming Muslim religion he's blaming Muslim people he's blaming uh, immigration into the West in general and into New Zealand in particular we have people like that and there are many people like that there are many many people like that out there they are silent and they have been radicalized by the media and the politicians 
and there is no fair debate taking place on Western uh, media. There is no fair debate. You don't see any intelligent Muslims pr present to defend their position, to defend their faith, and uh, to defend themselves against attacks made by illiterate, racist, xenophobic, Islamophobic politicians and media uh, prostitutes. So this is very, very important for us to realize. We have to understand that Muslims must now, uh, you know, put up a defense legally, politically, uh, and uh, we need to have an active presence on the media to highlight the point that Islamophobia must be banned. Islamophobia cannot be allowed. It cannot be normalized anymore. It cannot be tolerated. Otherwise, it's going to lead to bigger cat catastrophes in the West against Muslims. We cannot have this anymore. You, the governments cannot be tolerating people like Tommy Robinson. He's roaming the streets. If he, if he was a Muslim and he was saying the same thing uh, against some people um, on these issues, then he would be arrested, he would be put on trial, he would be in jail. Tommy Robinson, people like him, Sam Harris, others like him, you know, who are spewing hatred, who are, who are you know, pumping hatred against Muslims, uh, are still free. So we need to think about this. We need to, you know, advise the government. We need to talk to the government in Britain, in the US, in Australia, in Canada, uh, in the West in general, and let them know that this is not acceptable. This is not going to be tolerated anymore. We cannot have more deaths of innocent people, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim. We sympathize with all victims. We are victims of terrorism around the world, whether these are non-Muslim terrorists or Muslim terrorists. It doesn't matter who the terrorists are. It doesn't matter what names they have, what color they have, uh, or what background they come from. What matters is that they are killing innocent people. And there are a number of different causes. Hate is the cause. Stop the hate against Muslims. Stop the hate against Islam. Islam is a force for good in the world. Islam has done great things. There is an Islamic civilization. We stand for that. We cherish that. We love it. We uphold it. We will be Muslims until the day we die. We ask God to take us as Muslims. We will never abandon Islam. Despite all the hate, all the criticism uh, in the mouths of all these paid prostitutes or politicians. We will not abandon Islam. We will not let go of Islam. Islam is beautiful. We love it. So this has to stop. We have to now become sane. We have to be intelligent. We have to be wise wherever we are as humans. We need to stand united, Muslims and non-Muslims, and we need to tell the governments that no more, no more dehumanization and demonization of Muslims on the media, no more Islamophobia. Islamophobia is no longer a question of freedom of speech. It is a question of innocent lives. Just like anti-Semitism is not a question of freedom of speech, it is not a matter of freedom of speech. Just like that, Islamophobia is not a question of freedom of speech. We have to understand that. You have anything to add, Mr. Musa? Um, uh, I think you said it all. I think you said it all. Yeah, this is something I wanted to share very quickly with my uh, followers, brothers and sisters on Facebook. We need to continue reasoning with love and compassion, with a lot of tolerance. We need to talk to each other. We need to understand each other. What breeds hatred? misconceptions, lies, and deliberate misrepresentation of faiths and ideas. This is what breeds hatred. We cannot allow hatred to flourish anymore in our societies if we truly want to be civilized. If we mean to be civilized, civilized humans, to make this world a civilized place, then we must talk to each other and understand each other and not allow hatred of any sort to flourish within our ranks within our societies. Thank you so much for listening, brothers and sisters. So please campaign against those politicians and media outlets <coughs> that are pumping hatred against Muslims day and night without remorse. Please campaign against these people. We will not talk. The silence in the, name, in, in the name of freedom of speech is not silence. It is murder. It is murder. It is complicity with murder. We must not remain silent. We must not remain silent. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. I've just arrived in London and I got this news and I'm reading all the news reports and it's really disturbing. Over 50 people have been killed. How can we tolerate this? 
How can we tolerate massacres like this and the massacre that took place on London Bridge and the massacre that took place uh, on uh, tubes, London tubes on 7-7? Um, all of these massacres, it doesn't matter who the victims are, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim. What happens to Western politicians and media outlets when Muslims are killed? There are many Muslims who condemn attacks against non-Muslims, wherever they may be. But when attacks uh, against Muslims take place, we do not see the politicians using the same strong language against white supremacist Christian racist terrorists. We do not see the same language on the media or in the mouths of Western politicians. They do not, as if they are in it tacitly. So we cannot allow sympathy for white supremacist, racist, xenophobic, Islamic, ter Islamophobic terrorists. These are terrorists as much as other terrorists, as much as other terrorists. So we need to understand this, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much for listening. Please do share this video to spread the message that this is what we need to think about. We need to think about the causes. The causes are hate, politicians speaking as experts on Islam, media outlets, prostitutes writing articles in newspapers spreading hate against Muslims or making the blood of Muslims cheap. This is not going to be tolerated anymore. Just like 9-11 was barbaric, just like 7-7 was barbaric, just like London Bridge attacks are barbaric, this is also barbaric. We need the same strong language against these terrorists wherever they may be. If anyone is trying to instigate terror of this sort, we need to stand up against it and confront it like we do with so-called Muslim terrorists. Terrorism has no religion, it has no badge, it has no honor. We cannot give it honor by attributing it to a religion or to a people. We must understand that. Thank you so much for listening. Brothers and sisters, share the message. This is the least you can do. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.